John Simpson asks, why can't I get the McDuck tartan? Did he actually ask that? No. Okay. April Fool's. Um, throwing, throwing Mac a bone there. McDo Hicks. Also bones at Mac. McDo Hicks uh, asked us what our thoughts are on full mask sporins. He says he wears a raccoon mask sporin with his gray kilt and also with his regular kilt. Um, uh, Mr. Hicks is, in fact, a uh, living historian. So I'm assuming that some of the time when he's wearing that, uh, the raccoon, he, he might be wearing it in a historical context, but I'm not sure. I mean, we have plenty of guys who are now wearing uh, gray kilts as modern casual fashion. But uh, what what do we think of full mask sporins? You want to explain what they are? And sure. Full mask sporin is also known as a head-on sporin. Um, it is a an animal pelt, you know, or you know, the body of the sporin is covered with animal fur, and then the actual head of the animal is what makes up the flap. Um, the I would say this: there are uh, there are varying degrees of taxidermists in the world, so. <laughs> It is my my thoughts oh my on gosh. a head-on sporn or full mask sporn really hinge on the quality of the taxidermy. Um, You're right. The now we get our sporns over in Scotland, and uh, they were they've done. You know, it depends on the individual skin that they get in for an animal. If they're able to make full mask things or not, mm -hmm. if they're able to have access to the taxidermist, how long they're you know the taxidermist is. Uh, uh, taking to get things back to them, the quality of the taxidermy. Um, is it somebody who just does it as a, as a hobby and they have a full pelt, you know, with just the head flopped on top? Or is it an actual spore in shape with a, a properly taxidermied head? Is the hair going to fall out? It's, there's a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So I will say this from <clears throat> a, 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 a quality spore in, proper head on, pro proper taxidermy. You know, proper spore in shape and and form. It is a very very versatile thing. You can wear it for day wear as well as for formal. It is the most versatile spore in, um, even more so than a semi dress. Like you can you can dress it down or up, and it wor works perfectly in any any circumstance. Mm -hmm. Now a sure. lot of people just kind of relegate it because of the cost to more formal stuff. But, you know, whether it's raccoon, whether it's fox, whether it's badger, musquash, um, there's a few different typical ones that people do for head-on sporins. Um, but, yeah, I, you can wear it at, for a whole host of events. Yeah. Um, I loved this question, um, partially because I didn't know the exact answer <laughs> that I wanted to give. And Mac and I tried to do some digging on it. And uh, what I was curious about was what is the historical antiquarian provenance provenance of, of head-on sporns, full mask sporns. I know that very, very early on, um, the Highlanders would make sporns sometimes out of uh, uh, pelts of animals, like, you know, roe deer, you know, Highland, Highland deer, um, or, uh, um, uh, yeah, deer was the main one, but other animals, basically, where they left the fur on. So I'm assuming that this tradition kind of started with that. But the early, the very earliest I was able to find a visual example of a head-on sporn was actually, um, and I'm sure there's more out there, but uh, with a quick search, what I found was anybody who's familiar with uh, prints of like uh, Highland uh, swordplay um, and uh, like historical martial arts people, you might know this, but um, instruction manuals for swordsmanship. There's one that was that came out in 1799 um, called uh, the Hungarian and Highland Broadsword. And you've probably seen this print online. It's uh, the advantage of shifting the leg. And there's a whole series of them. And you have this guy who looks very Prussian or very French. And you have a, uh, a gentleman who looks like a Napoleonic era, slightly earlier, um, Highland soldier in a kilt. He's doing the sword moves, you know. And he's wearing what we would now call a swing and six uh, sporn. And it seems to be badger with the head on. Um, and I was kind of fascinated by this. I haven't seen visual examples of it from any earlier than that, but the idea had to have been based on something. So if anybody out there has earlier than 1799 extant images of this, I'd be curious to know. Um, we know that there were versions of the Swing and Six that were both head-on and regular cantle. Mac, that's what you, that's what you said you found, right? Cue the Mac. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I mean, I found a couple of variants of, of it, especially with the, the cannel being different uh-huh. for different things. But, yeah, it was... I was finding stuff that was more 1860s, 1880s. Yeah, and that jives with what I've seen on the civilian side, that uh, by the time we have large collections of photography of guys in Highland dress... Um, head-on swarms were very popular at that point. There's a lot of portraits where they've got the full freaking dead animal right there. <laughs> um, it was like that and goat hair were mm-hmm. super popular for a while. Um, seems to have died down by the 20th century, as far as I can tell, in terms of being actually really popular. But they've never stopped. They've kind of always been there, is the impression I've gotten. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I basically just and that's just all trivia for you guys but I would say what Rocky said basically um, they can be really good if they're made well they can be really silly looking if they're not made well um, the googly eye one exactly. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've got a couple of pictures in the archive that we can throw up later yes oh. I mean, th- oh, throw up later um, um, yeah there's one with a, a uh, what's it a fox it had like essentially like googly eyes on the sport. It's well, like, like the, the oh. head is just so desiccated, it looks more like a shrew <laughs> than a fox. It's like, oh no! Yes. Wily e. Coyote comes to mind <laughs> after it's been flattened, yeah. been flattened by an Acme <laughs> ro- scene oh, roller. Oh no, Mr. Bill! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're spore material now, buddy. But um, but they're cool. I don't know. I don't know if I would you would you want one? I l- I like them. I especially that which one that one fox one we had here for a while mm-hmm. was really nice. Mm-hmm. Um. I like them. I've always contemplated about getting one. Okay. Just I, I've always liked them. Right on. Yeah, it's it's the consistency is the problem. Like we get some that the the taxidermy is bang on and it looks beautiful, mm-hmm. and then the next one you get in, it's you know a little cross eyed or something, um, and it's one of those where it's like, uh, and then but it's the amount of labor or you know there's something just a little bit off with it. But the amount of labor and the, the, the cost that went into it is the same as a good one. So it's difficult for consistency's sake because these are, you know, individual animals. Um, yeah. So it's an individual I, I pelts. They're, they're, all the joking aside, there are some good ones being made out there. And I think individual yeah. artists do make good ones. I personally am not interested in it because um, the the portion of your sporn that you touch all the time is the, is the flap. <laughs> and so the idea, of getting, the, flap. Yeah, the idea of getting hand oils on the fur of the head... And you know, or just rubbing that fur and rubbing it off over the years, I don't know. I just feel like it was less durable somehow. I think now, like the old swing and sixes um, with the, the 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 very lush fur pelt underneath, but a metal cantle, not unlike this one actually, this style of cantle a lot of the time. Those I think are freaking awesome. I, I I love that. I love anything with a with a cantle plate like this. Um, but I wouldn't go for a full head on personally. Yeah, I've done it. I've had a badger, um, but I... I don't need no stinking badger. We don't need no badgers. I don't have to show you any stinking badgers. I was, th- I was going badger, 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 <laughs> badger, 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 badger. badger. Honey badger, don't give up. <laughs> the uh, uh, Rocky's badger don't give up. <laughs> Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give up. <laughs> The um, anyway, the, sorry, that was a that's joke three badger jokes in like yes. thirty seconds. <laughs> the uh, good luck editing that one. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it's Matt's turn. This one. The um, no, it's I've had it and I kind of it was a novelty and I ended up just selling it on because I I didn't wear it enough and it's a very it's a loud yeah. statement and my 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 safe. method of dress with the kilt tends to be a little bit more understated. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so I didn't feel the need to wear it so i just kind of like eh, it was just collecting dust in the closet so i just wanted to give it a better home <laughs> that would someone that would actually use it and the other I, i've told you my story before about my friend erstwhile friend in the sca who had a a full fox head sporn they'd wear and he'd, at events he would invite ladies to come up and pet the fox so i will always have a bad taste in my mouth because of that because of that guy fair it's like really dude Fringy, dude come on really yeah, you're gonna go there. Eh, it is what it is. But your mileage may vary. Some people's children, as they say. Some people's children. I don't know that one. You never heard? It? Like some people's children. Yep. Yeah, see, Mac knows. Hmm. Yeah, it's just kind of the disparaging. Oh. Fascinating. They were, they were, essentially, they were raised 
Poorly. Poor poor breeding. Yes. Mm. Not breeding necessarily, but poor. <laughs> I've also, the whole entire time, I've been thinking head on sporn, worn around the waist. I know. Head on sporn. I was thinking that's the, the, the whole thing. Apply directly to the crotch. <laughs> head on sporn. Apply directly oh to the crotch. Oh my god. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. This is going to be such a fun segment. To <laughs> yes. Film. There's going to be so many jokes in this one. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Now, my mom used to always say uh, N O C D. But she, she, my, my family on her side came from the New York Social Register, so it was N O C D, not our class, dear. Mm. Mm. Mm, quite. Mm. Yes. 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 Hey, we tried to come up with an outro for this video, but we kept flubbing it. Basically, head on, head on, full mask sporns are a thing, and they're kind of cool or they're kind of weird, depending on what you think. So they should tell us what they think, right? Head on sporns. <laughs> head on sporns. Apply directly to the crotch. It's we're going back to that well. Head Thanks. on, head on, head on. <laughs> playlist, playlist, playlist. <laughs>